Today I'm going to be showing you the Sturm Precision Rifle. This is the most expensive rifle in the game. It costs 13 skulls. Is this rifle worth it? Oh yeah, and I'll be showing you why. Just to state the obvious, this is not the standard camo on this gun. So why is this rifle awesome? To start off, once you get uh, the ability to continue a zoom, you have all the way to 24 zoom. Now you have your 0 to 100, I don't know, but if you're good at sniping, you don't need a 50 or a 75 point blank shots. But I'm calling anything under 100 meter pretty much a point blank shot. You should be able to hit, and with the adjustment of the wind, should not be a problem. Same thing I find really with now up to 200. 150, 775, 200 is perfect. Then it doesn't give you 200 to 300 or 250. When it actually starts to matter is when you have your 20s. And then you have the 25s at your long range up to 350 and 4 or 5, which is fine because how often do you actually take a 400 shot? Right here is about the longest shot I've taken so far. So the amount of shots you have to take at that distance and the fact that no other rifle really gives you that anyway really makes this a beat. But it's not just that. Uh, let's see, 400. There it is. This rifle is incredibly powerful. So whether you get the headshot or not, you get the headshot, you actually decapitate him. But let's not get the headshot on this dude right here. That is going to be head. No, oh, no. <laughs> that was late. Decapitated his leg. That's how powerful this rifle is. So on the standard ones, the, the lower end enemies, it doesn't matter where you hit. On the big armor dudes, I've yet to be able to... No, I did have one time. I think I didn't one shot them. And this is on dead eye difficulty too. This is, um, I want to say it's the Sahara camo too. It also, I'm not even using it at the moment, but let me show you. It does have a bipod option. You do have uh, the ability to get your one ammo with uh, one purchase. And then later on you can get two special ammo if you go that route. So I have the explosive on. But you can easily use something else. Sekov has just arrived at the shipyard. Um, there's basically a bunch of move. more enemies Probably over here. Him there. Got it. Let's see what I can hit over here. Let's actually come over here a little bit. I kind of even want to push this. Go for, go for a 437 shot. I literally just woke up, so I apologize for my aim not being the best. Watch his head. Oh. That one didn't decapitate him. That one hit in the chest. But yep, he is my longest shot, 437. I knew he was my longest shot before, so that's why I just took a couple steps back just to hit that mark.
trying to recall if I actually ever got a hit marker with this rifle too. Oh, there's 483 too. Can you nail that? There is. It is. <laughs> 484. <laughs> that was so not a headshot. I just put that basically dead center. And that's the beautiful part about this rifle. There's no alert. It d I mean, you can't completely miss the shot twice, but as long as you hit him, you kill him. Ah, oh, there's like 15 enemies over here. I don't want to come out yet, though. Let's try going down a little bit. Take him out. So the accuracy on the lower end we should be about 240 now. We'll do something. IP has. Yep. Oh, it did. You see, right at the end, it did split a skull open. It wasn't the best one. Um, I think it's more like close range, like the hundreds and two hundreds. You get more like taking off half of their skull. Or it might be that that wasn't a perfect headshot. I didn't really put it in the middle at the top. Like I usually will at closer range, and if I didn't just wake up, literally not even ten minutes ago. Well, here we got some close range dudes. Go 220. Oh, you're a little further. Alright, where's that wind? There it is. That's what I'm talking about. That is awesome. But it doesn't matter if you hit him in the chest. <laughs> so. The reason I'm doing this video is because I was seriously debating what sniper rifle to get. I know because I picked this rifle up from another sniper rifle, one of my uh, rivals I killed, took his rifle, and I knew already it was beast. It gave me all four, um, it gave me three or four different ammos, definitely at least three. And I knew it was basically one-shotting everyone, so I wanted this rifle. It was the most expensive rifle, especially 13 skulls in the beginning. So uh, I wanted just, I was really happy that after playing with it for a couple missions, it definitely did justify itself. And I wanted to share for everyone else, is this rifle worth holding out for? Yeah, it's definitely worth your first purchase, without a doubt. You know, I'm actually not going for the five minute mark or anything fancy, so I'm just going to skip over that for right now. I can go back and finish sniping him out later. Plus, I actually do need some ammo to beat this part. I can't collect any ammo from their dead bodies. on the control tower. Eliminating the guards would be prudent. <sighs> I 
There's another skull splitter. For the purpose of this video, I don't want to make it too long. Let's find one of the heavy dudes soon. I'm gonna split open two heavy dudes in one shot. I'll have a little fun up until then. I'm gonna try to put one straight through the mask. So that's what we're gonna test actually. Can it shoot the heavy dude through the mask? This is a weird oh that's what this is. Okay, so that's the uh jammer. Completely uh not part of what I was doing, but this is what the jammer does. You don't already know. You can't hold your mark. I was wondering why when doing this it wasn't holding the mark. But it's a jammer. Oh That was nasty. Even with no bullet replay, you could see that one did the same. I do like my wind at the moment, it's quite lovely. There is at least one big dude over here that will come out. The one downside about this rifle though is in missions where you start off sniping a ton of dudes, it uses heavy ammo. So you need to find one of those boxes. One, two to base. One of ours is down. Over. I'll probably take out a couple more. Drop him. I really don't really like how you post up. Oh, actually, that's a big dude. Hello. What's the mark on him? Look at 200. Beautiful. Let's zoom in for a close up. We are going to put this right in your visor. There it is. There you have it. That is the storm or storm or it's pronounced precision rifle. Definitely worth getting. I would just hold out if I were you and get this as your first rifle. Don't waste any tokens on the other one. Just go straight ahead and buy this first. Hope that helps.